Welcome everybody to another episode of Finn's Nation. I'm your host, Louis Song, and today we're going to be discussing the Jalen Ramsey situation again. So, some new things came out, and as always, people are talking on Twitter. This is what Finn's Nation is all about. It's basically looking at what other people are talking about and what other people might want to hear about. Well, apparently, pro football doc David Chow, you know him, I'm sure if you are anywhere on Twitter, he's been all over the place. He's talked about this sort of stuff all the time. So, I want to go ahead and just break this down real quick. So, he went on the all I am athlete pod and talked about what the challenge that Jalen Ramsey has ahead of himself so we've been talking about this all this time we've been hearing about how he's walking around without his crutches he's not really doing a whole lot of actual strenuous activity obviously he just got off of his surgery nothing is going to really happen there for quite some time but everybody's being very encouraged by the fact he's staying vocal on Twitter he's letting everybody know what's going on with him he's letting everybody know hey listen this is what I'm working on this is what I'm working towards I'm going to beat this thing, and I'm going to absolutely get back sooner than everybody expects because I want to be able to play with my team. Well, at Pro Football Doc, Mr. David Chow went ahead and talked about this because he's one of these uh, sports doctors who is very knowledgeable, I'll give him that, and a lot of people listen to what he has to say. He's been an ex-NFL head team doctor for 17 years. He's live injury analysis, all this stuff that he's been doing at his Twitter page, at Pro Football Doc, for a very, very long time. A lot of people go to him for sort of a quick hitting analysis when it comes to any form of injury and he usually gives his initial reactions whenever a player does get hurt but Jalen Ramsey took some serious issue with what Dr. David Chow was saying in that clip on I Am Athlete Pod with Brandon Marshall so I'm just going to go ahead and very quickly talk about this real quick because I want you guys to understand what my thoughts are on the whole injury situation when it comes to Jalen Ramsey and with other Dolphins players who may be suffering from certain things but before that really quick just want to go ahead and mention that as always this show is brought to you by our good friends over at you break wheel fix you break wheel fix is a complete automotive wheel solution ever park too close to the sidewalk curb you break wheel fix specializes in the repair of damaged wheels from bends cracks and curb rash or maybe your wheels are faded or peeling you don't need to replace them as you break wheel fix can refinish them to like new offering complete refinish options through powder coating machining and polishing you break wheel fix is the answer to all of your wheel needs and if you're just looking to give your ride a new look, You Break Wheel Fix also offers many car customizing options, such as new custom wheels and tires from your favorite brands, performance upgrades, window tinting, and suspension modifications. Located just south of Aventura, you can reach Mark and his staff at 305-748-0112 or online at youbreakwheelfix.com. They are really active on all social media platforms at You Break Wheel Fix, so shoot them a DM on Instagram, Facebook, or Twitter and get an estimate in just minutes. So don't delay, go to You Break Wheel Fix and and start customizing your ride to show off your Dolphins fandom today. This show is also brought to you by PrizePicks.com. PrizePicks.com is the revolutionary fantasy platform where you can now pick up to six different players across professional sports leagues. Whether that's the NFL, the NBA, the MLB, the WNBA, one of each, it's up to you to decide. Just choose whether your chosen player will get more or less than their projected stat. They give you free squares, special Taco Tuesday promos, Flex Friday specials where you can get your money back if you lose, or multiply the amount of money you can normally win. With offers like that, it's hard to justify not signing up if you are any kind of a fantasy sports fan so use the promo code five that's f-i-v-e and they will match up to one hundred dollars on your initial deposit when you sign up again that's promo code five spell that out f-i-v-e go to pricepicks.com deposit your one hundred dollars and let price picks give you one hundred of their dollars for you to play with and get started winning today Okay, so we're talking about Jalen Ramsey and his meniscus tear here. So just as a quick recap of the timeline of events, about two weeks ago now, Jalen Ramsey got into a collision with Tyreek Hill while he was trying to make a play during practice. And that collision resulted in Jalen Ramsey being carted off the field and he was not able to walk all the way to the facility to be able to get himself taken care of. Now, we were hopeful, and I also was hopeful, that Jalen Ramsey being carted off the field did not necessarily mean that he was going to miss extended time. There had been events in the past that during training camp, if a player gets carted off the field, they find out later that it really wasn't that big of a deal. They were just trying to be precautionary, and plus there was no point in making your player walk all the way to the doctor in order to make sure that he's okay, especially if it's not anything big. Like, if the season is not on the line, this is not a real game, this this is okay he got hurt 
Let's take him out of practice, and we'll go ahead and we'll take it easy with him because this is somebody that we want to make sure is ready for when the season actually starts. And Jalen Ramsey, of all players, is probably one of the most noted, the most famous, the most talented players on this entire Dolphins roster. And we were hoping against hope that maybe, just maybe, this was just the Dolphins being extra careful with their star cornerback. One of two star cornerbacks, I should add, because Xavier Howard still qualifies as one of those. Unfortunately, that is not how it ended up. Later on down the line, we found out that he did, in fact, tear his meniscus. He fortunately did not tear his ACL, but there was a lot of damage that needed to be repaired. He went in for the surgery, and immediately Jalen Ramsey went onto Twitter and started telling everybody, listen, I understand this sucks, but I'm going to be back, and I'm going to be with you guys. He's basically telling everybody that he's going to be with them every step of the way because every single day he's putting up a tweet that says how this is what I'm doing with my rehab. This is how I'm feeling today. I'm feeling awesome. I'm feeling Feeling great. Oh, it's a little tougher today. I'm feeling a little drained because I don't, I really want to be out there with my teammates. It's abundantly clear at this point that Jalen Ramsey truly loves the game of football and he hates the idea that he's not out there because he wanted to be out there this season. As a quick reminder to everybody, Jalen Ramsey specifically wanted to play with the Miami Dolphins. Out of every other team in the NFL, he personally chose Miami. He told his agent, he told everybody, I want to play with the Miami Dolphins. That is my first choice, my second choice. Maybe it wasn't his third choice, but it was definitely his first and second choice. He wanted to play in Miami above all else. He finally got what he wanted. He was happy. He was excited. He was going against certain players like Tyreek Hill and Jalen Waddell who could really challenge him in practice and really would give him just exactly what he needed to be at full strength when the season started. They were going at each other. It was an awesome back and forth that we were seeing during practices, and it all came crashing down because... Apparently, we thought it was because of the collision, but as it turns out, it was actually a non-contact injury, and it turns out that the reason they collided in the first place was because of the injury. It was not the other way around, which is unfortunate. So now, we are going to go into the season without Jalen Ramsey. It's very likely we won't get him until at the very earliest, until after the bye, which is going to be a long way into the season. However, Obviously, Jalen Ramsey is pushing. He's trying his hardest to be able to get out there earlier than what everybody's expecting. Early reports were indicating that he was not going to be able to come out until December. He's trying to push it all the way to November, I think. And listen, I've talked about this before. When it comes to these athletes... We always look at ourselves and use ourselves as examples. Oh, well, I had a meniscus tear once, and it took me over a year to be able to recover. But you got to keep in mind, these football players have access to technology, have access to doctors, have access to just every resource on the planet at this point to be able to speed up their recovery to the point where it's almost like they're superhuman in a way. And by the way, even as old as Jalen Ramsey is, and by the way, I'm putting air quotes, heavy air quotes around old because Jalen Ramsey is still only 28 years old, but in the NFL, that's considered getting up there in age. I'm older than Jalen Ramsey. I do not think I would be able to recover as quickly as he is. So with that said, these guys are built for this sort of thing. They get hurt and they hurry back because they just can Now, I'm not saying he should. I'm saying that he should be careful with himself. He should absolutely try to make sure that he can keep his career as long as it's humanly possible. He's making a lot of money doing what he's doing, so you don't want to just throw that away because you just want to be out there right now. Obviously, he's been seen walking around. He's been seen without a brace. He's been seen doing all sorts of stuff that you would look at him, and it just raises an eyebrow wondering, this guy is like 11 days or so off of a meniscus tear surgery and he's already walking around? Isn't that dangerous? Isn't that risky? To some doctors, some apparently it's not that big of a deal, and it's not like he's doing anything particularly difficult. But in this case, I would err on the side of caution, but again, I am not a doctor. However, Dr. David Chow is, and again, you can see his Twitter at ProFootballDoc. He's constantly giving instant analysis whenever a player gets hurt, trying to just kind of analyze maybe the angle of the fall, what happened during the replay, what could have happened, what potentially might have happened, or maybe if he just really is 100% sure, he'll say, nope, this is exactly what happened. And a lot of people use him as a resource for instant analysis. So I can't say that he's not a smart individual. However, 
he went on to the I Am Athlete pod, just as a recap, and he talked to Brandon Marshall and others about he is not optimistic about Jalen Ramsey coming back and being his full strength. He's talking about this, talking about how he's not going to be able to be that same guy, at least not right away at the very least. So I'm just going to go ahead and let this audio play, and I'm going to go ahead and let you listen for yourself. This is Dr. David Chow on the I Am Athlete pod talking to Brandon Marshall about how he does not expect Jalen Ramsey to come back to full strength very quickly. I think it's a tall order for Jalen Ramsey to come back and be Jalen Ramsey. This is not insider information. This is analysis from afar based on insider knowledge of the game and meniscus tears. The good news is he had a meniscus repair, which means it was sewn. But then the bad news with that, that means that it's a bigger tear and it needed to be sewn and now you need healing time. I unfortunately don't make a lot out of seeing him walk without a brace. First mm. of all, if you go by the book, and I've seen the Twitter stuff where people said, oh, it's great news, he's walking. Yes, it's still non-weight bearing crutches and a brace. But if you talk to any seasoned pro sports team doctor, that is advanced to weight bearing as tolerated in certain range of motions. So that doesn't necessarily speed up the timeline. It's easier to return as a wide receiver than it is a DB because you're dictating your routes. Right. The DB has to react to the route. That's right. It much it's still hard for a wide receiver to come back from, let's say, an ACL, but much harder for a DB to do so, right, because of the, what they have to do. So I'm not overly optimistic, Dang. unfortunately, on Jalen Rams. So again, that was Dr. David Chow talking about what he expects from Jalen Ramsey during his rehab. Now, obviously, there's a lot of merit to what he's saying. Obviously, a lot of the things that he's talking about, even Brandon Marshall as a wide receiver tends to agree with him because obviously as a wide receiver, he has played the position, he knows what to expect, and he's gone against DBs who have told him this stuff, I am sure. with a certain, There is a certain truth to what he's talking about. It's a lot more difficult to react to somebody else doing something in front of you because now you not only have to be quick on your head, you have to be quick on your feet. And you have to be able to instantly change direction because you don't know where the wide receiver is going to be going. Whereas the wide receiver already knows what he's going to do. His body's prepared for it. He's able to go ahead and make any adjustment that's necessary because that is what the route dictates. But as a cornerback, you have to be able to twitch in any different direction at any given moment. And you don't know which way you're going to be going until you see the wide receiver go in that direction. So in that respect, I understand what he's talking about. But the part that kind of makes it a little bit difficult is talking about how you're talking, he's basically saying that there's not really a whole lot of optimism that Jalen Ramsey is going to be able to speed up the timeline. Well, the fact is, Jalen Ramsey himself took issue with that comment because it wasn't long after that that he took to Twitter, and this was um, actually at 6 34 p.m. on August 8th, so yesterday, as you are listening to this, that Jalen Ramsey took to his Twitter account and he basically responded to exactly what was said. And I'm just going to go ahead and read this and I quote shut up that's in all caps by the way folks I done let a couple things slide but y'all have no clue what's even going on just talking to hear y'all selves talk last I checked I serve the one and only God who dictates everything not all these Twitter slash X doctors who have never seen me in their lives lol and then God bless. That's the full quote there from Jalen Ramsey on Twitter. You might probably be able to see this, assuming he hasn't deleted it. But knowing Jalen Ramsey, I sincerely doubt that he's going to delete anything. And quite frankly, he shouldn't have to delete it. I think that Jalen Ramsey is showing that he is very determined to make this thing happen. He's very determined to prove that he is going to come back early. He's going to come back stronger than ever. And just knowing that he has that level of determination, this is something that a lot of Dolphins fans can kind of cling to and look to to as encouragement because when, it, when we were waiting around for Byron Jones, the only thing we would get every once in a while is just this tiny little nugget every once in a blue moon from Mike McDaniel where people would ask about, is Byron Jones coming back? And he would say, he's working on everything. He's trying to get him back as soon as we can. We are hoping that he'll have him back by X week or Y week. And that ultimately never actually happened. Byron Jones never came back. And later on, we find out that Byron Jones was never anywhere close to coming back because he just couldn't pass the strength test. He just could not do it. And this is the end of his career now. Now, here's Jalen Ramsey. He's going out there every single day and he's talking to people, talking about, yes, I'm working on this today. I'm feeling really good about this today. So that's a level of encouragement that we can take when it comes to Jalen Ramsey specifically. 
But this is another issue that I want to go ahead and talk about because the concept of the Twitter doctor, right? We've heard about this for so long, and especially around the Miami Dolphins because of someone like Tua Tonga Vailoa, who obviously with his concussions and everything, this has been a topic of discussion for over, over a year now. We've been hearing about how Tua Tonga Vailoa is one head injury away from retirement, from permanent CTE, from not being able to function properly. We've heard it all. We've heard it all. Some Buffalo Bills fans are making fun of it. There are other people who are genuinely concerned about Tua's well-being, and for that, we appreciate that. But again, everybody wants to play doctor. And I've talked about this in previous shows before, is that everybody looks at Tua and just assumes they know what's best because they are somehow experts when it comes to certain things. But if the expert disagrees with your opinion, then all of a sudden, you're the idiot right? If the expert disagrees with your opinion, then the expert obviously can't be that smart because they don't agree with what I think is the truth. Now, you could argue that we're doing that exact same thing, questioning at Dr. David Chow and what his evaluation of the situation is. But at the same time, we have to look at it and say, Dr. David Chow may be an expert in his field, but as Jalen Ramsey himself pointed out, it wasn't Dr. David Chow doing the surgery. He did not have an inside look at what his knee looked like. He does not have pictures or video of what that surgery actually did inside of him. So for Dr. David Chow to come out and say that he's not optimistic for Jalen Ramsey's surgery, because he even said he doesn't have any insider information. He's just basing it off of what he knows from the past and what certain things have taken place with other players that he has observed, which I get it. You try to speak from experience. That's cool. That's great. I can also speak from experience. My mother tore her meniscus playing tennis once, and she was not able to, she was told by doctors that she would never be able to walk again unless she got the surgery. And I'm not going to go ahead and talk about who that doctor was because I don't want to make anybody into trouble. But with that being said, my mother refused the surgery, and she went ahead and she got herself healed up. It took a little bit longer, but she did heal. And so, With that in mind, we look at it from the perspective of not everybody always knows what they're talking about just because they have some level of knowledge. And even then, a lot of the people that say they have knowledge don't actually have any knowledge. There were so many people that came out and said that Tua Tungabailoa was going to not be able to play anymore, that he needs to retire, that he, all of these things, right? We've been hearing about it for so long and we're so sick of it, but it keeps coming up in discussion because they can't let it go. They can't let it go. They have to be right. And so with all that being said, what is my main point here? So Jalen Ramsey comes out and says that he wants this doctor to shut up because he doesn't know him. We can say the same thing about Tua. So I wish people would take that lesson. We'll see if anybody reacts to what Jalen Ramsey had to say to Dr. Chow. I don't know if a lot of people are in support of Jalen Ramsey right now because apparently Dr. Chow has had some uh, things in his past Uh, back when he was the doctor for the Chargers, and things did not go well for him. But I digress. With any luck, Jalen Ramsey will be back on the field by November, if that is indeed the timeline that he's trying to reach. It's a month before what anybody else was expecting. These players can be superhuman, man. I don't know. I don't think it's a wise idea for him to do something like that, but we shall see, and I'm looking forward to seeing how it all goes. So that's going to be it for this show. Thank you all so much for listening. If you haven't already done so, make sure you check out You Break Wheel Fix if you need to get your wheels fixed up or if you just need to give your ride a Dolphins makeover. Use Go ahead and reach out to them at 305-748-0112 or online at youbreakwheelfix.com or you can reach out to them on social media. They have Facebook. They have Instagram. They have Twitter. You can reach out to them at any of those places and more and of course pricepicks.com use the promo code five that's f-i-v-e and they will match up to 100 dollars on your initial deposit when you sign up i actually won some money last night so i'm a very happy camper so that's going to be it we'll see you all tomorrow for another episode of fins nation